things going the way you plan it. For so many individuals, no matter their best efforts, no matter at what they do, things just go in the wrong direction. For some other individuals, things will start in the in a good note. By the time they are about to make a break, things just turn in the negative direction. And whatever they do to turn things around in the positive way, things just won't work in a positive way. What I'm to share with you is how you can turn a negative situation to a positive one using some spiritual secret that has been there in ages. Spiritual secret that our ancestors in Africa have mm. made use of and things have worked for them. They have become successful. Some other individual, no matter where they go, there is a spirit of hatred, an aura of hatred around them. There's an aura of dislike that is around them. Sometimes these spirits are placed on people's life by evil-minded individuals. At some other times, the spirit follows family lineage. Sometimes it's in the bloodline. And whatever or whoever, no matter how beautiful and handsome that individual is, no matter what that individual tries to achieve, as long as this spirit, this hatred spirit is around them and is dominating their life, things will just keep turning out bad. I have good news for you. What I'm to share with you this evening or today, whatever time zone you are, is to make sure this hatred become a things, thing of the past and things we start working. I can assure you, I'm saying it again, things will start working in the right direction for you. If you can just give a trial, just give it a trial. I am assuring you, just test this spiritual work I want to give to you. You will get my number and you will call me and you are going to give me a positive feedback. I can assure you 100%. And what you need are just very, very simple items that I will ask you to get in preparing this spiritual soup. It's a spiritual soup you're going to prepare. And I can assure you that with this, you will get results. You will get results. Now, what are the items you need to get in preparing this? This, what are the items? What are they? Very simple. The very first thing you need to get is you need to get some newly budding bitter leaf. Some newly budding bitter leaf. When I say bitter leaf that are just getting, they are just coming out newly from their plant. I just decided to just look for this. Look at it. If you get here, you can see this is one. You can see the newly budding one. These are the, they are still just coming out. Look at it. That's it. That's it. You get it. This another one. You can see this. Can you see the newly budded one? So you get this. The fully budded one, the leaves are much wider than this. Now you get this. You get some of them very much. You get it. If you can't get this bitter leaf, then the next thing you can get, you can look for majoram. Majoram is a substitute for this bitter leaf. So look for majoram. But if you are anywhere in this world, whether you are in the U.S. or Canada, you can get the bitter leaf from African store. So just look for an African store and then make a request or put an order towards them. And then you get that. So that's the very first thing. The next thing you need to get, you need to get the edible camphor. The edible camphor is in a, sure, in a, in a square shape. So you only need five seeds of the edible camphor. Over here, they call it kafura pelebe, kafura you get that and then you get your bible and then you get your white soap 
get any white soap of your choice any white soap of your choice any white color soap of your choice and then you get your bible because you are going to chant these following psalms even once you have finished preparing this item you're going to chant psalm 40 51 then psalm 43 and 63 seven times each psalm 51 psalm 43 and psalm 63 you are going to chant them several times each into this spiritual soap now i want you to pay attention how are you going to prepare it? The very first thing you need to do is to grind either the majoram or the bitter leaf. Get the majoram leaves and grind it or the bitter leaf. Get it and grind either of them. Next thing is you grind the edible camphor, the kafura belebe. You grind it. Then you mix these two items with your white soap. You mix these two items with your white soap. Once you have done mixing it, the next thing you need to do is to empty it into a white packaging container, a white packaging container. And then you open your Bible to Psalm 51 and you chant it seven times. Then you open to Psalm 43 and you chant that also seven times and then you chant psalm 63 which is the last and you chant that seven times and then you pray and you break every spirit every mark of hatred over your life and i can assure you once you begin to make use apply this soap in your to bait very early in the morning before the sun rises that is when it is best and you get to get good results. Then you start baiting it very early in the morning. You, buy, you bait it very early. But before you start baiting it after preparation, after your prayer, you leave it that so for 24 hours, just a day, for it to get together and then that soap is very, very ready for use. And I can assure you, Within a month, you will begin to see that everything that has been turning negative around you will begin to move in the positive direction. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I want to welcome you to subscribe to hit the subscriber button. You really don't know also who you can bless with this, who you can help with this presentation by sharing it. I want you to get take it, share it with your colleague, your friends or your family member and they will be glad they will thank you for it so if you want to reach out to me my phone number is right down there the description section and you can also see it across the screen one of the things you can do is to reach out to me and then i can give you more guide thank you very much and see you some other time